Hi. Some tips on being a spoonie and needing to get your hair done. Um, look, it, not, whatever we do in life, it's hard. Um, as a spoonie, which is someone with a chronic illness, I myself have an ME and fibro, so it's hard for me to try to get out and about. And you know what, there's a whole debate over the fibro part, but I, am, I definitely have ME, which gives an awful lot of fatigue. Um, so yeah, I have to pre-plan going out. And yeah, I'm just gonna explain the background here for now. Everything's upside down at the moment. We are mid move. We're literally waiting on our completion date and then we move premises, we move home all at once. <laughs> um, so everything's out of the way. We do have a pup, um, she's German Shepherd puppy. So we're having to move stuff out of the way because she likes to eat cushions. Under this Udi is another dog called the Fuff. <laughs> um, so she's happy enough just under there. But just in case you see her moving, you'll know what that is. It's not a monster, it's a Fuff. Well, technically she's kind of a monster. Um, I do need glasses, so I'm blind as hell, but all you see is lighting when I wear my glasses. So I've had to take them off because I can't figure it out, but I will eventually. Um, but yeah, so let's get back to it. The whole um, being prepared to be getting your hair done, right? The number one tip for me that has really, really worked is highlights, <laughs> serious. Like I can get away with getting my hair done probably two times a year, three at a stretch, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of regrowth now, um, but there is a lot of dark hair anyway. I keep it all multi-tonal, um, just to hide when the roots are growing out so I can get away with it getting quite low before I have to go and get it done. So that buys me more time not having to go and get my hair done. Um, so that really, really helps me anyway. Um, so yeah, I stick with highlights rather than full block hair coverage. I've had full bl block hair coverage. Whoa, that's hard to say. Um, before, but literally as soon as you start to get regrowth, it's so noticeable and it's very, very annoying to have to get the whole thing done all the time. Um, also getting the T-bar the basically is what it's called for the highlights. It, um, it takes no time at all to get done. Like I'm in and out in two hours and that's, you know, getting it all cut and blow dried and everything as well. So that that's the whole lot in. Um, the other thing that I'm able to do, which helped me immensely when I was trying to find a good hairdresser, was I explained, I was just upfront. I said, I have Emmy, I have bad knees, I have bad hips. There could be times where I just plain forget that I have an appointment, which has happened. Um, or like last weekend, I turned up for my appointment a week early. Hmm. It's today, not last week, blah, blah. But luckily my hairdresser, she is well aware of what Emmy is. I've educated her quite well and she's been very open to receive. And she doesn't punish me if I forget, if anything goes wrong or I have to cancel last minute because I'm completely screwed. Which as most of us with Emmy or any major like <laughs> chronic illness, we all say the same thing. We don't have control. It's extremely unpredictable and it can hit us at any moment, which is why we hate making plans. So that is another thing that I recommend doing. Pre-educate and pre-warn your hairdresser and make it very, very real to them that you may have to cancel last minute. So she has always done that and she does tend to book somebody in. So she'll put my hair dye in and then once I'm setting, I, I, I don't know what the word is, but anyway, once the, uh, I forget the word, but anyway, while she's done with putting it in and waiting for it to take, um, she will go and have somebody else booked in to get them done. So then if I have to cancel, she still has somebody booked in with, within my slot. So we've worked that one out between us and that really, really helps. And it makes me feel better so that if I have to cancel, I'm not feeling really, really bad. So yeah. <laughs> um, another thing is bringing uh, snacks. Hold on, I need to take a wee drink of water. I am on these new pills from a bladder, but they make your mouth really dry. Anyway, so yeah, bring snacks. I don't know about any of you guys, but with my illness, a lot of it affects my stomach as well. So I, first of all, won't eat foods that I know may trigger me. Um, so yeah, I will not eat that prior to going. And I will bring snacks with me in my bag that are safe foods that I know I can eat if I get a bit hungry or a bit snacky or shaky or whatever. And I always bring my water. 
Um, I do sometimes take coffee, but today I know it's not a coffee day because if I have a coffee while I might, I'll be all so that'll freak me out. Um, I don't have to worry about accessibility either because they're on one floor. Um, I did have a hairdresser prior, but they moved to an upstairs hairdresser, so I had to leave. I, I can't do stairs. Um, so yeah, they are downstairs. So that's another good tip. Make sure they have accessibility for you. The other side of the coin is that they have um, terrible parking. There's just no parking. Um, so I get dropped off and picked up. I don't worry about having to drive myself. So I'll always make sure that that is the only option for me. And um, so that removes all of that stress. And then one other thing that you can do that I often have done in the past, especially when I first started going before I got to know my hairdresser and I'm, you know, I'm pretty chill with her now. So I don't worry too much about the whole social side, which can create an awful lot of anxiety in us. But you can bring your trusted person. I bring Caleb sometimes, my son. He has come, he has, has to come this week because he wants his hair done and she's actually going to do his hair in between when mine's setting. Um, so yeah, that's great. He's going to be there the whole time keeping me company so I'm not getting too awkward or freaked out or if my stomach goes. It's not as crazy when you have your trust person with you. And yes, they have toilets, they have accessibility, everything there is good. So I had that all pre-arranged before I even made my first appointment with her because I chatted away before I did that. So I highly, highly recommend just lay it all out there. Just, just be as real as possible and eventually you will find the right hairdresser for you that will work with you for it. But yay, I know. And I'm finally able to, you know, stop having to do my own hair and be able to go to a professional, get it done right and you know, working within my illness as well, which really, really helps. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope it gives you some kind of tips on getting out there and getting your hair done. And please, please, please comment and let me know what else you want to know about Spoonie Life and tips and tricks and hacks, all kinds of things that we're going to try to bring more of to this channel for you guys, because, well, why not? We Spoonies got to unite and we got to help each other. Isn't that right? Bye. Roots are done. Yay, look at that, all finished. I am now wrecked, so I am going to lie down. Love you.